Well, all we need to do is stuff an apple in his face, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I'm tired. I just thought I'd get up here on the counter and rest a while. We've been here for so long. How long do you think you'll stay fresh up there? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm freeze dried, so. <laughs> Come on down from your perch. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. We're gonna have a going away party. Oh, we are. I'm not going anywhere, but so I'm gonna do. you're going away. He's I'm singing. singing. Well, yes. let's see. Hey, burst to got this in the mail just this very day. Oh. It's from the newspaper out in uh, Fresno, California. Oh. Fresno, and it says cooking shows thrive on entertainment, and we are the first one right there. And, and they say a lot of funny things about and us. They, they ranked us nine on the giggle on the giggle first. scale, but they said not to bother to weigh them on the cooking scale. No, because <laughs> some of us are sensitive about our weight. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for the good review out in California. That's nice, our California what friends. Are we do? We're doing a going away party today because there's some people around I here wanna, that are going away if they don't. I speak. knew you were going away, and I wanted to give uh -huh. you this nice gift uh, here. On uh -huh. behalf of the staff, we want to give you this used uh, hand mixer. Oh, uh, that's from Mary <laughs> This is from Helvey. a good friend, Mary, who same lady that gave Thanks. us this one. And uh, so now we got a real heavy duty one that we can use uh, with our hands. Right. Because the other one, you know, was smoking the last yes. time uh -huh. I used it, smoking on the air. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not polite to smoke on the air. Well, or we're going to lay this back here. We're going to lay this back right. here right now. I'm making a, the strangest cake in the world, this should be called. This is a fruit juice cake. And it was sent in by the lovely and semi-voluptuous Edna Johnson. Some of your people? No, none of my people. And Juliet Allen of Kingsport, Tennessee. Tennessee, well, depends what city you're in. Uh, Tennessee sent this recipe for Aunt Ruth's Flying Farmer Chicken Salad. <laughs> Edna, I got to tell you, darling, this is uh, interesting. But I have to tell you, it was so weird that for one of the first times in all the years we've been doing this show, I actually ate something before I brought it in here. Last there were pieces missing out of the cake. Is it good? And it is. You know why I was worried? Why? Because it takes so much liquid, and Edna, you're a little bit strange on your how much we're supposed to put in there. We're not sure we got it all right, but it did come out all right, so therefore it must be all right. But anyway, with the prune juice and the orange juice and the apple juice, you know what it tasted like, the batter, when I put it in yesterday? I hate to think. Either Seritan or Geritol. <laughs> That's the truth. And I was real worried about this. Uh -huh. so I ate some of it last night. It turns out real nicely. Well, this chicken salad was deceptively uh, simple. Hmm. It looked like it was going to be real simple. It's right complicated. It takes forever to get everything ready. And it makes enough for Cox's army. Which is right outside the studio right Wait, now. No. I want to do one quick thing. Okay, well, you go ahead. Well, I'm going to toast some almonds while you're doing oh, this, so okay. go ahead. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take two eggs, and I'm going to separate them. And I'm going to put the yolk over here and the white over here, and we're going to beat the white up just a little bit and add some sugar to it. First thing we're going to do, two eggs. It should be room temperature. It sure does help to beat eggs if you've got them room temperature. Remember that, boys and girls. We're always trying to impart some knowledge to you because it's terrible. Ignorance is a terrible thing, and so is a long hanging thing off of an egg. Gosh, gross me <laughs> out. And, sorry. <laughs> that well, happens. Now, be careful. That's an embryo, and these, some of these people be after you for throwing it away. Oh, for heaven's sake, do we have to get into that? <laughs> All right, put those over there and set these aside. These are going to go in your batter. And what we have to do now is just whip this up till it's a little bit frothy. And then we're going to add some sugar. We're going to add a half a cup of sugar when this stuff gets to the frothy stage. And the next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll beat it until it has the very lovely stiff peaks that we're always talking about on this show. Now that's called the frothy stage. Let me get it out and let you look at it. I've appeared on many stages and, uh, and so have you in my uh -huh. time, but I've never appeared on a frothy stage. So there you go. That's what that looks like. And I sure do hope you see it because I don't, sure don't know what I'm seeing down I here. I think okay. the last time we saw a frothy stage was at the Shenandoah Valley Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Half a cup of sugar. It was now, in a tent. Goes in that. It was. And there was a lot of drooling men. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't tell you what it was all about. However, it, well, never mind. Anyway, now, 
now that you've got this to the frothy stage, very slowly add the sugar. And you will beat this until it reaches stiff peaks. Put it in there kind of slowly. And it does not require any vanilla or flavoring, just plain old sugar. And I'm going to do that back to Laban. Well, I'm toasting some almonds here. Well done. They just have to toast a little bit. And I'm also slicing some celery, which I'll come back to here in a minute. Oh, I forgot to mention something, Laban. Oh, okay. Let me Go cut ahead. this off long enough to mention something. Do you see this? Do you see this? What? Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. Isn't that cute? It says Tootsie. Well, I've got one on the front of sister. It. And that's right. Laban and I both, uh, over the holidays, whenever that was, because when you see this, you'll never know, <laughs> received these uh, uh -huh. from uh, a gift from a friend. Mm -hmm. Had these made especially for us. Isn't that something? Anyway, just that's, real I swell. just want to mention. Well, anyway, with this fine farmer chicken salad, and I don't want my, I don't want to burn my almonds. Jim uh, Farrell gave it to us. We may as well mention his name. That's right. I have got five cups of cubed chicken in this plastic bowl. And I cooked this chicken yesterday and cubed it up. And uh, then I have marinated it overnight in the following sauce. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons uh, or tablespoons of salad oil, two tablespoons of orange juice, and two tablespoons of vinegar. And I used a combination of plain apple cider vinegar with a big dollop of rice wine vinegar, but you could use anything you wanted. And then it was refrigerated overnight <laughs> in my very own refrigerator. Bly has made... No, I haven't. I haven't. I got just a little gob on me. Oh. All right. Lord, I'm burning Look at my this. almonds. Oh, we have no. finally reached the very lovely stiff peaks. Okay. Let me turn this off. All right, there we go. Now you go set that aside because in a couple of minutes, when Labor gets finished doing what he's doing, we're going to mix up the better part of this thing, and this will go into the batter. All right. Okay. All right. Well, now my almonds. Now, I've got to have added to this now some uh, sliced celery, about a cup and a half. So I've got a little bit more of this celery I need to slice up here. And this chicken salad takes a long time to make because it's got so many parts to it. And that's the only problem with it. Uh, let me just finish this last little dab of celery here so I'll have a cup and a half. And I don't think you really need to do a close measure. First, I'm going to add three cups of cold cooked rice. And you just get that right out of there. And it does need to be cold so that it... You uh, want some prune juice, by the way, today? I know how uh, you like to always uh, drink all the stuff I got on the show. Well, you, you know, you if, like it'll, if it'll help juice? me be uh, regular. It, it'll help you. Real good. Right, a now, regular viewer. Okay. Now, I've added my rice to this salad, and now here's a cup and a half of chopped celery. A little prune juice cocktail coming up here. Oh. Now you know we, d we still have about 20 more minutes of the show. <laughs> well, Maybe you better save that till a little bit later on oh, in the program. Oh, I'll... Okay, here it goes, down the gullet. Lip, 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 lip. Isn't that good? Yeah, but... Alright. Mm. Now I've got my celery you can and drink my three a brand cups of cooked rice and I'm going <laughs> to do the same thing. Uh -huh. Now maybe somebody will write us in and tell us what has got more fiber in uh -huh. prune juice or <laughs> a bran biscuit. Well, that sure is pretty stuff. Well, it is. What really. is it you make it, Laban? It's this flying farmer chicken salad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I've got to add a cup and a half of grapes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Do you so, just add them whole? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> if you but think I'm standing here, you you will to? peel me a grape, forget it. <laughs> that famous line by Mae West. No, I'm just going to throw in enough till it looks like I got a cup and a half. I, I sure hope those are seedless. <laughs> that would be terrible. Uh -huh, they are. Yeah. <clears throat> Dramatic shot mm -hmm. there. Okay. 
Well, do you want to go ahead and? No, no, right, no. Well, you just, just go right keep on. I'll plucking these. Oh, grapes. you've got to pluck for a while. Okay. Uh -huh, until I get a. All right. Now we're going to do the batter part of this. We're going to take two cups of self-rising flour and get some fresh flour, will you? Because cakes need fresh flour in order to rise, and make them real heaping fulls, cupfuls. I'll tell you why, because so much liquid goes in this, you'll think that you have drowned this thing out. So I discovered yesterday, it's best to have a real full cup. Boom, two of them. All right, there's that. Get rid of some of the stuff so I can see what I'm doing. Now, to that, we will add the two egg yolks, which we just got a minute ago. These are the yolks, These folks. are the yolks, folks. Yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, that goes in there. You've been holding that back. I told you not to hold anything back, and you did. Well, I All can't. Right. It was the prune juice. <laughs> uh, also, we need a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. Boink. Whew, going to be a salty cake. Uh, we need a third of a cup of oil. That's about that much. I'm just going to guess on this one. Third of a cup. That's eh, close enough. Excuse Holy me. Holy. I need a half of a cup of orange juice. And then it gets real funny from here. I certainly hope something will soon. Half a cup. There it is. Half a cup. Now you're going to think that you just have an inordinate amount of liquids, and you really do. But it calls for it this way. And then what you have to do, now this is the strangest thing. She says a half a cup's mixed lemon prune apple juice to make a half a cup. But I have decided that she means it'll be a total volume of one and a half cups of liquid. So therefore, we have put a half a cup in there. So now we're going to take these three other liquids, and we're going to make a full cup using these three liquids, starting with Do lemon you need juice. pineapple juice? No. Thank well, you. I got anyway. some because I have to drain this right here. No, I don't need it. Although you could put it in, in well, if we could put it in instead right. of apple juice. Well, no, I thought I'd go ahead and drink it since I killed <laughs> off the uh, prune juice. I swear. No, I'm going to use my apple pour juice. My pineapple juice right There's in just my no glass. telling what, what kind of a mess he'll be later on tonight. All right, now that prune juice, the most important thing of all. Put that in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's the secret item. Now put all that in there. And we're just going to mix that all up now. That should be everything. And just beat that all up real good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we will add the stiff peak stuff to it later on. So I'm just going to mix this for right now, all right? In the meantime, heat your oven up 350 degrees and take a bunt pan, grease and flour it. All right, Laban? Well, I've drained, this is a 15 and a quarter ounce can of, of uh, pineapple tidbits. Tidbits. And I've just drained it here. The juice is delicious, and it, this is uh, in its own juice, so no sugar added. And we're going to throw the can of pineapple over into our salad, to which we've added the grapes now. Now it's got the pineapple in it. And as I said, there is a gracious good plenty of salad here. It's just getting bigger. Now we take an 8 ounce, uh, or no, it's an 11 ounce can of uh, mandarin oranges. And we've got to drain it out too. This stuff is a little thick, so I'm going to add a little more prune juice to it. Oh, no. Well, how about some mandarin orange juice? No, I'm going to add. Well, it doesn't matter. It is a fruit cake, what? so it doesn't matter. Well, throw some of that in there. How much do you need? Just a little. Ah, that's enough. It's terrible to have someone just throw stuff in there. I hope you don't need to get rid of any cans or anything. And I'm just mixing it up real good. That's all I'm good. Oh, I forgot I the sugar. Lord, I forgot the sugar. Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh, here's a can. Get out of here. I forgot the sugar. Uh, you, this cake would not be you very buffoon? sweet. I thought you put a half a cup No, 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 no. In. That's in here. You're not paying attention. You're watching someone else's show oh. because the monitor's not working. All right. Now, I need to add here <laughs> one and a half cups. Oh, Lord. I need to add a whole cup to that thing, and I forgot to add that. I knew that stuff tasted awful. I just stick my finger down there a minute ago and it tasted like 
flour and Doo -doo. prune juice. So anyway, the reason is I forgot to put the sugar part in. Don't forget your sugar. And I've run out of sugar. All right, here's some more. Put that in there. I knew something was wrong. Put that in there. A little extra won't hurt. And now I got to go back to diddling this around. Go ahead, Levin. Well, now I've got my mandarin oranges down in there along with everything else. And now I'm gonna add these, uh, this is about a cup of slivered almonds that have been toasted. And now to that, we have to add a cup and a half of mayonnaise, which is three quarters of a pint-sized jar. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Fit? You know, this show makes me real nervous sometimes. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. I have no idea what I mean. <laughs> I don't really care. All right, that's it. I don't want to do anything right now, Laban. All right. <laughs> well, I am continuing to toss what do you want? this salad. <laughs> Leave me alone. No, I'm not going to toss anything else. No, it's just this. Sa this salad is wild. I've never seen so much stuff. There'd just be enough in here to feed everybody in Coxie's at your army. Church. Yes, I know. No, the church supper. Oh, that's right. We've already done that show. Well, anyway, is that it? Is that all you got to do? I think this is it. Oh, okay. Well, let me finish up here. Oh, wait a minute. The no, cook's I don't want to go to the cook sisters. <laughs> I'm going to get obstinate. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to fold this stuff in right now. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. I forgot. You don't fold this in. Normally, you would fold this stuff in, but this recipe calls for you specifically to beat this stuff in, mix it in. And, uh-oh, there we go. So now you take this part, <laughs> almost lost, put it in here and you will beat it in there. Now, you all, while I'm beating this thing, can go anywhere you want to go, all right? And especially you, Jim. <laughs> now, I have attractively garnished my chicken salad. <laughs> this is called oh, chicken isn't salad it? with Beautiful. three stalks of celery. Woo! That's lovely. It'd be particularly good with, uh -huh. uh, isn't that lovely? Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be good with a Bloody Mary, though? Yes. That's what we need. Now, I'm mixing this stuff up. They may want to see that from overhead. It's real pretty and very startling, and I just want to make sure you don't miss a single shot during the program today. That is all being mixed in there. Very lovely, isn't it? Oh, it is. Everybody's real excited about it. There's at least one person that's gotten just uh, a little bit uh, overly excited about it and is having a problem. Oh, no. <laughs> now, let's, you know, the girls are coming by today. Oh, they are. The Cook sisters are going to be here momentarily. Well, bring I think the old buzzards in here. The old buzzards are here. <laughs> so let's fly them down here and see what they got to say. Oh, sis, uh, guess what I've brought along with me out onto the porch? Your cousin Herman. No, no, I dropped him years ago oh. as a friend and a relative. Look at this. What is it? Oh, look at that. Oh, I know. That's what they used to crack the English walnuts with every year at Christmas. No, no, you're almost, you're, you're close. Oh, what is it? Well, it's a burpee can sealer with attachments, which just fell off. But anyway, if you can't, remember when we used to can beef and pork at home? And this would seal it up in a metal can. You'd do that and, and sometimes this and sometimes this and that. And it's still got the book it came with. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And we're the Cook Sisters. You know, you can never find a, um, a paper towel around here when you need one. It's true, you can't. Look at this. This makes a pretty batter. You know what? This batter is prettier than what I had yesterday, which may explain why when I got this cake out yesterday, it was like this high. 
in the mm -hmm. bunt pan. And by the time it got finished cooling, that thing had puckered up like an alum cake. You have <laughs> never seen anything like it in your life. My cake that I brought in today is about this high when it got finished drying out, whatever it is it does. So you take that and you put it into a bunt pan, which has been greased and, and uh, floured, put it in the oven, and it says, until it springs back. <laughs> Thank you, Edna. I spent all afternoon springing this doggone cake. I can tell you, at 350 degrees, it takes about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. But you, it'll get nice and brown on top. And then you make a, a little glaze, which I may or may not make. I'm just feeling right ornery today. I just don't oh, think go I'm going to No, it. I'm just going to take a little bit of sugar and put it in a bowl and diddle it around with a little bit, just a little tiny bit of milk or a little bit of margarine and add, uh, I add some lemon extract and made a nice little lemon glaze to go over top of it is all you need. It says to do some kind of lemon or orange frosting. But I want to tell you, I was just, I, you know, it was a long Sunday and I didn't have time for frosting. I think you should have had a prune flavor. You heard that song, I haven't got time for the frosting. Well, that's true. I did have done a, a prune frosting. Well, I, now, you, I, you know can do any number of things, really. You can. Let's look at the recipes. What do you say about that? Hmm? Aunt Ruth's Flying Farmer Chicken Salad is sent in by Juliet Allen of Kingsport, Tennessee. Five cups of cubed chicken, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of salad oil, two tablespoons of orange juice, two tablespoons of vinegar, three cups of cooked rice, one and a half cups of small seedless grapes, white ones, one and a half cups of sliced celery, one 13 ounce can of pineapple tidbits drained, one 11 ounce can of mandarin oranges drained, one cup of toasted slivered almonds, and one and a half cups of mayonnaise. Okay, the fruit juice cake sent in by Edna Johnson, Big Stone Gap. I don't know whether you eat it or drink it, but it will be real nice when it's done. Two eggs separated, one and a half cups of sugar, two cups of self-rising flour, a teaspoon of salt, third cup of oil, half cup of orange juice, and uh, you also make another cup of, this is kind of confusing, and I'm sorry, it's not Carol's fault, it's mine, lemon juice, prune juice, and apple juice mixed to make, really, you can make between a half cup and a cup, okay, depending on how, how you want your batter to be. That's a little confusing, but it's all right. It was sent in that way. Always make sure when you send us recipes that you're kind of careful about things like how much right. you should put in it. That's very important. Don't but this things. turned out all right, Edna. Yeah. I'm not, you know, it's fine. Yeah, be careful it's about fine. sending this like a recipe for a big can of this or that because, you know, yeah. what is your big can may be somebody else's. Well, Laban, you know, the only thing that hasn't happened here on the Cook and Cheap set today is we haven't had any witches fly I know. by. Whoa! <laughs> right on cue. Look at her. She got a wart on her nose she didn't have last week. Uh. Well, let's see what this says. What's it says? You want to read it? No. Gentlemen, Marvella, my daughter, <laughs> is going to make her debut next week. Mm -hmm. We have had numerous problems. We oh. couldn't find a hall and had to accept the old Arlands department store, which, as you know, has been closed for years. Talk about dust and those bathrooms. <laughs> what? <laughs> What can we serve to cover up the obvious flaws in the building? Marvilla will really appreciate it. Mm. By the way, don't suggest pork. Thurgood is giving her a Vietnamese pot belly pig for the occasion. <laughs> and that's from Racine Tuckweiler of Varnish, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Let's taste some food. We'll, we'll think of something next week. I, I promise you, you will. I want you all to notice these attractive... Uh, these attractive uh, napkin holders. We have an attractive pig napkin holder uh -huh. and a, a an attractive Holstein uh, holder also. There you go. Aren't they lovely? They're just beautiful. And the lovely Dorothea Maria uh -huh. uh, brought those down. To, sorry about that, guys. Lost it in the shot. But anyway, uh, look at this. Oh. Is this pretty or what? This is just lovely. And I told you it was about six feet high when I took it out of the oven. <laughs> and this is about how big it got when it got finished shrinking up. But it's, it is a good cake. Edna, you have done well, and I will hone my skills on it and do a better job for you. Let me try this mm. chicken salad. Oh, it's got a nice flavor to it. It does. It's a wonderful cake. It's real moist, too. 
Well, chicken salad tastes like it's got a lot of nuts and mandarins in it. <laughs> it's interesting, Laban. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.